Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled, Don't Beat Yourself Up. Um, Today, thank God, it was the last day I had to go and look at one of Yuvea's schools. I um, actually um, accepted the school, so this will be the school that she'll be going to. Um, It's out in Buffalo. So it was, since I don't take the highways or anything like that, I think it was like about a 40-minute drive or 45-minute drive um, in total. And on my way there and back, I was thinking about how the drive wasn't really that bad. And it was so crazy because if you read or listened to my other podcast, I was talking about how I was dreading actually going to that place, but this was somewhat different. This was basically about the point of me um, realizing that it wasn't that bad to drive, period. Um, A little background story. I um, initially took driving lessons, I believe, when I was 18, 19 years old. Uh, I believe it was 18, and... um, I started taking the driving lessons and it was a situation <laughs> that happened. Um, I was driving. It was like an older lady who was my instructor at the time. Not that that matters, but you'll see she kind of got scared. So I'll let you know. So anyway, one of my lessons, uh, she started, she was teaching me how to make turns. And what ended up happening is I took the turn or whatever it seemed like I was doing right. Like I was fine with the left hand turns or something like that. But I think the right hand turns, I had a problem with it, whatever. And I hopped over the curb. Now, it wasn't that it was like a big thing to me hopping over the curb. It wasn't like I was going to go on. The, it, it wasn't even like that serious it, as far as my standpoint. I mean, hopping a curb is hopping a curb, but you know what I mean? But it was the action that happened. I hopped the curb. And instead of me, I was able to to fix it. But what happened is she grabbed the wheel and scared the heck out of me. And like, I'm like, what are you doing? You know, she has her own wheel on her side. She had her own brakes. And I like, but she grabbed my wheel and it just creeped me out, scared the heck out of me. So what ended up happening is uh, I ended up moving out. Uh, my mom's house a little bit later. So, you know, I mean, for the most part, driving lessons cost money. I got rent to pay. So uh, I put driving on the back burner for years. And it really wasn't, um, to me, a big deal because for some parts, I didn't really have nobody to teach me how to drive. I didn't have a car to drive. So at the end of the day, it wasn't, you know, for me. I really didn't care about driving for the most part. Um and then plus where I live at, thank God, there's the buses to go everywhere. My mentality then is way different than it was now, but I'll tell you that while we're going. So anyway, but today, so we're done with the backstory. So today, as I'm driving, I started to think about that. And I'm like, man, I could have been driving this whole time. This wasn't even that bad. And then it's also the point, too, that I really don't really go to Buffalo that much. And it's not really that far, but it's just me. I really don't go. But it was like, to me, I was like, man, there's so many opportunities that I could probably be doing out here. And I'm sitting up here. I'm holding myself back. I should have been driving and all of this stuff. Now, you imagine, like, I'm telling myself, like, half, I'm telling myself somewhat that on the way, but on the back, I'm, you know, on the way back home, I'm saying the same thing, like, man, this wasn't even that bad, it's so many opportunities out here, I could probably, man, I probably missed out on a whole bunch of stuff, and then something was like, stop, stop beating yourself up, you can't change what you did in the past, all you can do is make a better future, so that is my encouragement to you, we can't go back and change what we did in the past, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be us driving, whether it be us our career change or anything, everything that we went through got us to where we are today. Don't beat yourself up over decisions that you made. You made those decisions 
while you're in the moment and while whatever mindset you're in. Going through those experiences that you went through, that's the reason why you know better now. If you didn't have that experience, you wouldn't know. Like, you know what I mean? If you never experienced hot, you wouldn't appreciate cold. If you didn't appreciate, you know, go through bad times, you wouldn't appreciate the joy. So don't beat yourself up over things that you can't control. I can't control what I did um, yesterday. I can't control what I did a year from now or a year ago or 10 years ago. There's nothing that I can do, but what I can do is learn from those lessons and do better. And in doing better, that's why I like doing the podcast because I can, you know, anything that I might uh, go through or any lesson that I might learn, I'll come on here and I will share it with you guys so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And so hopefully it helps you and we help each other in the whole long run. So um, that's actually my encouragement for today. Uh, have a happy Friday. It is Friday, the 7th, August 17th. Um, have a happy Friday. Hope everything is going good in your life. If it's not, pray about it. And God will see you right through your problems. So until next time, have a worthy, worth, and a priceless life. Bye.